Hey YouTube, how you doing? This is Buck. Today we're gonna install a Windows 7 or maybe uh, you will install another version uh, to upgrade your Windows XP because yeah, many people uh, are very uh, confused about uh, the news that Windows XP uh, cannot be used anymore. So if you're on a Windows XP computer and you're also uh, being on the internet and you're like um, also doing banking business with that computer then you know you should really consider updating and um, if you have a Windows XP computer that is not on the net and it's just like uh, playing TV for you or music of course you don't have to upgrade to Windows 7 you can keep using your Windows XP but if you're doing really important things on the internet you know things that concerns your privacy then you must really think of upgrading to another version of windows so um but you are like man i have all these files on my computer from all these years and you know if i'm gonna upgrade i'm gonna lose everything well in this uh, video i'm gonna show you that you can upgrade without losing any file okay well it's not gonna be an upgrade in fact what we're gonna do is a clean install a clean install on the existing uh, free space on your hard drive so means if you have a 50 gigabyte hard drive and you still have 20 gigabytes left because you must think of 20 gigabytes at least uh, to have um, yeah space to install Windows 7 or Vista or Windows 8 you know in this uh, video we just gonna upgrade to yeah we can upgrade to Windows 8 we could install Windows 8 we could also upgrade to Windows 7 in fact it's the same thing because in the install what we're gonna do we're gonna install Windows 7 aside Windows XP but in a way that all the files of Windows XP meaning all the files on your computer so make sure that you have all your files in the Windows environment meaning if you have files let's say on uh, on your C drive just stored on your C drive you know put them in, 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 in on your desktop in Windows XP just replace everything make sure that everything that you want to keep is on your desktop or in some of your folders like documents music etc that it's all in Windows XP that, you know the installation that you're on of course of course you will need a license to install Windows 8 well I have two licenses here as you can see and this is uh, Windows 8.1 by the way um, so what we're gonna do we're gonna install uh, Windows 8 but this could also of course be Windows 7 and um, let's take a look come over and let's jump into the PC okay there welcome in the laptop that we're gonna kill and upgrade to Windows 7 this can be any laptop any computer you know um, of course you will need your CD and then you can pop it in I will pop in my little USB that I created and now we're gonna turn off the computer and we're gonna restart the computer depending on your model of the computer I can press F12 to get into the boot menu and now we're gonna start up from the USB device so there we go installing Windows 8 so what we're gonna do we're gonna upgrade Windows XP to Windows 8 without losing any file okay so that's what we're gonna do I must inform you that um, the programs that are installed on your computer well you should reinstall them because some of them might also not work in Windows 8 so you must make sure that before you do this 
you know that all the programs that you are like really using on your computer you know that they also run in Windows 7 in my case important was that reason could run you know um, my uh, my video editing programs must run my audio recording programs must run you know and um, well in Windows 8 I also had some issues that's why I'm still on Windows 7 on my real machine this is just a test machine and uh, yeah that's why I'm installing uh, one of my uh, Windows 8 this is how they come these days <laughs> in just a very cheap uh, carton yeah box was well, not even a box remember how um, CDs from Microsoft were delivered before if you bought one you know now you just get this so oops okay in the next uh, step when you inserted your serial number you can accept the agreement and then you hit next and now it comes upgrade install windows keep file settings and applications don't even look at this you know because this will not give you a clean install because what you want is a clean install but you want to keep your files you know you don't want to lose your files so that is what we're gonna do okay so we hit custom install and when you hit custom install you will see your drive here you see your drive don't delete it don't format it don't do anything with it just select it and hit next and up here you will see if the chosen partition you have chosen contains files from a previous Windows installation these files and the folders will be moved to a folder named Windows old you'll be able to access Windows old but you won't be able to use your previous version of Windows so meaning you know everything of Windows XP will not be there anymore you know the programs and the settings and Windows XP itself it won't work but there will be a folder you know in Windows 7 or in the Windows 8 installation somewhere on your hard drive on the C drive and these will have all these will contain all the files that you had on your desktop in your in your documents you know all your pictures you know even stuff that you had on your C drive if you did not you know put them on on your uh, in your desktop or somewhere they will still be there everything will still be there even the old uh, windows will still be there but it won't be usable anymore all the programs will still be there in the old program files folder but you will not be able to use them anymore you will have to reinstall them so it's also good that they are up there because then you can go one by one before clearing all the stuff the old folder when you took out all your pictures all your etc you know then uh, you will go to your program for uh, program files folder the old one and then you will just look what you had in there you know if you cannot remember all the programs you had they will still be in there but you won't be able to use all of them some of them might run because they are just exe files you know that can run from out the folder without system files being installed but then again um, it's better to reinstall all these uh, programs one by one again you know so that is important thing to know so we just hit ok here and now you know you can just go ahead and go drink a cup of coffee make yourself some coffee go do the cooking you know the, the dishes go do some uh, yeah some push-ups whatever and uh, I'll get back to you after this is done so and after doing like a hundred push-ups everything is installed so Windows 8 is up and running bloody bloody blah, 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 blah I will connect real fast
okay and in the next step we will have to choose for a Wi-Fi login but I will not do this I will skip this uh, set as uh, this step uh, up here I just say no create a local account this is what I wanted TV and finish TV uh, 48 then otherwise if you don't uh, do that if you're connected to the internet then you must log in with a uh, account of Microsoft you know and now you can just create a local account that's what I want okay so another reboot will be done so you must remember if you don't want to create a Microsoft account while installing Windows 8 then you must skip the login to uh, to the Wi-Fi network or any network you know pull out the cable so you can create a local account because uh, that is a part that is uh, yeah a little bit hidden away the skip test uh, or, or skip this uh, this this step you know it was like really small at the bottom I could uh, almost not see it so um, yeah okay so we reboot it again and now the apps will be set it up so you know after this step I'll get back to you By the way, this was a complete automated process, eh? so, you know, um, in fact, you don't have to do anything. You just look at the screen and it all goes, you know, fix yourself another cup of coffee and you'll be all right. Okay, welcome back. There it is, Windows 8. It's installed, my friends. So, I hope that you are happy now. You have Windows 8. I'm looking for some stick here. Some oh, it's in my other computer. Hard to get now. Anyway, we have a desktop with a fake uh, start menu, but you all know that already. The desktop is here. You see? You see the start menu here in the bottom? It's not for real. When you press it, you get back here. But we can fix that later. So uh, now you have your Windows 8 installed. We go to personalize. That's the first thing we do. And then we're gonna make sure that we get the desktop icons on board. So you can like navigate and find all your stuff up here. So boom, you know, and then we go to this PC. And we go to local disk and up here you will see a folder called Windows Old all the way down you see it? this folder here well if we open that folder then we will in fact really find our old windows in there you see that documents and settings windows you will go to documents and settings here on top and then you look for your users here you see your user account and up here you can just you know go to desktop and get your docs your files your work and just slice them to your desktop and go back you know um, wh whatever you have in your documents open it you know put them in your documents you know get all your files out of here and when you did that you know when you're done doing that you go some steps back and then you go to program files and then you go looking in there whatever you had installed well I didn't have too much installed I just installed Windows XP for the for the video you know to show you how to um, to to get your files back so in fact I don't have too much up here and when you're done doing that then you go to your C drive and then you right mouse click it and then you say properties and in properties you will see tools uh, hold on general here in general just 
beside the hard drive here you will see a little button saying disk cleanup and then you hit that one and then it will look at the disk space and files that it can you know recover or delete or clean up however you want to call it this might take a while so I'm gonna pause a second so now it will look for system files and old windows installation files you know it will go looking for them and then uh, it will show us and then we can clean up the whole old windows get rid of all the viruses all the trojans and everything that was in there you know and start all over again with a brand new installation of your favorite operating system in windows in this case we choose for windows 8 and up here you will see that the installation is also in there it's uh, 600 uh, megabytes in your case it will be much bigger this was only an installation so you just select everything that you think that you want to delete windows defender one dot, dot. you see all these nonsense here 83 megabytes system quiet windows error reportations uh, blah 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 you know just select everything and hit ok and then delete files so now it will delete all the files and now what you in fact have is a brand new system and only thing you will have to do is go on the internet and go get the apps and the programs that you need you know you can also get them out of the app store you know but I doubt that uh, you will find programs like <laughs> reason and other um, yeah professional tools uh, up there you know this is just for yeah for fun I think so um, yeah it's all installed it's all looking good have fun with your Windows 8 or Windows 7 or whatever you installed up there you know I think you must know now that uh, your files are safe and you have a new operating system and yeah all the all the good luck for you uh, with your new system and with your new installation the video uh, was uh, pretty long but uh, yeah I showed you all the steps if you still have some questions please post them here I I'd be happy to answer them you know and of course the other users um, will also love to answer your questions if you still have certain doubts you know just let us know and uh, we'll do anything to help you this uh, was Puck from the Netherlands I thank you for watching of course if you think this information was useful hit this video like you know like it for us and uh, subscribe to my channel for more videos of in fact any kind uh, I, I make all sorts of videos so if you subscribe to my channel you will be uh, getting that all in your updates thanks again for watching until my next video bye